Hi everyone. Today we're going to be practicing head up and head down exercise. Head up, head down is an exercise that you will practice after you have already practiced introducing food with food and introducing food without food in the bucket. Because you want to know that you can keep your horse off of the food if you ask and also that you can move your horse away from the food before you begin practicing this exercise. This exercise goes back to the first lesson a foal learns when he's born, is when to nurse and when not to nurse. And this is really important because Carolyn developed this method of horsemanship based on the natural instincts and lessons horses learn in nature. So at any time that we want to move our horse off of food, we want him to be able to understand that he needs to go. This exercise, head up, head down, will also help you when you're leading a horse, let's say, and your horse sees some green grass, and you'll see often people are pulling on the, the lead line and trying to get a horse's head up. When your horse understands head up and head down, he easily uh, succumbs to that request. So that's what we're looking for. At any time, if my horse does not lift his head up when I request him to, I'm gonna move him off the food. And soon he's going to learn that as long as he complies, head up, head down, it, it, when I ask him to, that he will be able to continue to eat. So this is an easy exercise that everyone can have fun with as long as the horse will move off the food. So if you find that your horse, you're fighting with your horse to keep his head up, then you need to go back to the exercise, introducing food with food in the bucket and asking him to go away from the food and come to you for the food. So this is just another exercise that is really awesome to do while sharing territory with your horse, just to reinforce that natural instinct for him to move away from our request or come to us when we want him to. So what we're going to do to begin the exercise is have a pile of uh, hay that your horse would really enjoy eating. Now, if you find that your horse isn't gonna stay because he doesn't care enough about the food, and he, lifting his head off just makes him go away, then you would wanna amp it up a little bit and put some one of his favorite uh, foods down, like a grain or a sweet food or something on top of the hay. So you're going to begin, at first, you're gonna begin by standing in front of your horse. And you're going to say to your horse, head up, and you're gonna have the reed in your hand. Okay, so this is a good exercise to use the reed. If you have a liberty stick in your hand, it might be a little too much energy for the horse when you're asking him in the beginning to lift his head up. So it's nice to have a reed because if he decides he's not gonna lift his head up, then we can simply go like this, tap him on the withers, and he's gonna lift his head up, okay? So it's a, you have to play with the energy also of the horse. This is a really sensitive horse. So I'm not gonna wanna use too big of an energy, but I'm gonna want to ask him to lift his head up and I'm gonna hold that energy for a second. In the beginning though, we wanna make sure that we're not asking for it too long. We wanna reward the fact, yes, you lift your head up, okay, head down. Now, if you use the natural rhythm that the horse has in eating the food, where you know he's gonna take a big bite and then he's gonna be willing to lift his head up because he's eating and he has hay in his mouth, that's the perfect time to ask him to lift his head up. When you see that he would naturally be going down for more food, you're gonna to wanna to ask him for head down. When you ask for head down and you're down here waiting for your horse, anticipate yourself when you feel that that horse is gonna to wanna to lift his head up and ask him to lift his head up. So they know we're videotaping. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to start right now. His head is kind of up, so I'm just going to wait. Okay, head down. Head up. Little big of an energy for him. Head up. Good boy. I'm going to wait till he's almost ready to bring it down. Hello, over here. Head down. Good boy. Head up. So you see I used a little lighter energy with him this time. Head up, good. I like that he's giving me some, some focus. Good, head down. I feel this connection 
um, in this exercise when my horse focuses on me, right? Head up. Come here. Head up. Look at me. Good boy. In the beginning, you might not be able to concentrate on him, focusing completely on you, but in the end, you want it to be head up. Head up. Wait. I'm going to ask. Wait. Uh, 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 uh. Head up. Now he needs to, and I know this horse, and we have a great connection, and he's very smart, so I know I can ask a little more of him. Wait, wait. Okay, head down, good boy. So what we want to do is increase the time that we're asking the horse to stay with his head up, little by little. It might not even be the first day. Head up, good boy. Head down. Okay, so now we're in front of the horse doing this, right? So we want to be able to be at the side of our horse as well doing this. In connection here, I want my horse to know that wherever I am around him, he'll lift his head up and eventually when I'm not around him. So now I'm going to ask him for head up. Good boy. Good. So keep it up, good, head down. So you can see that I went with his natural movement to go down at that time. Head up, head up, good. Head down, good boy. Head up, good boy. So you can see that now I can do it while I'm here on this side of my horse, I can do it in front of my horse. Now, Pericles has done this exercise a few times with me, not very often that I can think of, to be honest with you, because I haven't done all of the Waterhole Ritual Sharing Territory exercises with him yet, but he is a very intelligent horse and he's a very uh, attentive horse to, to me and to what my requests are. So I'm gonna try, just for fun, to go someplace away from him and see if I can get head up and head down. Now remember though, if he doesn't pick his head up while you're doing this exercise, you know, while we're close to him, you're gonna move him off the hay. So I'm not gonna get an opportunity to show you that be with this horse because this horse is doing everything I ask him to do. But if he was to keep his head down, not bring his head up, completely blow me off, I would wanna walk away and go back and move him off the food, ask him to wait, and then draw him back to me like the introducing food exercise, walk him back to the hay and start again. So I'm gonna walk over here a little bit and I'm just gonna see if while I'm over here, he will listen to me and also do head up, head down. Head down, head down, good boy, head up, Good boy. Head down. Head up. Good boy. Yeah, good. Head down. So that was fun to try, but I don't want you to all be practicing this exercise all the way through all three stages and expect to get it on your very first try. I've been working with Pericles um, in connection with him for a couple months now. We have a very deep bond and we're very, very connected. And I feel that when I'm working with him, we're always on the same vibration. And when that's going on for you, your horse can really follow your lead wherever you are in the arena, which is the beauty of the waterhole rituals. So start out slowly by just picking one place and ask for head up and head down. That would be phase one. Phase two would be to go over to the side of your horse and ask for the same thing. And phase three would be from a distance. So I hope that helps. See, this is Pericles' first time in a green pasture here at our ranch. And he is so excited, but I'm gonna see if my uh, work with him in head up and head down 
will work when he's this tempted for all this luscious grass. Head up. Good boy. Head down. Who is this? Head down. Good boy. Good boy. Head up. Head up. Good. Head down. Fun? This is your first time. Yeah. It's a kid in the candy shop day. Head up. Good boy. Oh, what a big wet cat. <laughs> yeah. Head up. Head up. Head up. Good boy. So, that's pretty nice. For his first time in the green grass here, I wasn't expecting him to lift his head up quite so quickly. Head up. That was nice. <laughs> Everything Pericles does is nice. Yeah, pretty much everything you do is nice. Yes, he's such a good guy.